Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in this video, I'll be discussing yet another preview feature. And this feature has to do with the integration between Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365. And in this case, it's the integration between Dynamics 365 customer service and Microsoft Teams. So grab some popcorn, make yourself comfortable and check it out. So first, let me explain in a little bit more detail how exactly this works. So if you have Dynamics 365 customer service with Omnichannel that is connected to a Power Virtual Agent, now at some point, that chat will be then handed off from the Virtual Agent to a Live Agent. And when that happens, that will actually create a conversation record inside of Dynamics 365 customer service. And this is where the magic happens. So what you can see here is right. The chat that was initiated by the customer. You can see here, um, right. Hello. We received an invoice, but the invoice amount is incorrect. Then the agents myself said, I'm so sorry about that. Could you please give me the invoice number? Customer gave the invoice number, looking it up in the system. And then you can see here the amount shows at $2,000, but should be 1500 instead. Now, when we switch over here to Omnichannel for customer service, you can see the same chat in here as well, right? How may I assist you? Blah, blah, blah. The amount shows is $2,000. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to reach out to my coworker in teams and I'm going to start a new connected chat. So this is Teresa testing Teresa testing. And you can see here that it says include a note. So this is an auto generated message that is now been created by the system, right? So this is really that AI technology that then will generate that message here in the Teams chat. And what that means is that when I'm starting my chat, if I click here on start chat, then this message that includes my issue description and my resolution tried, right? That's all being generated and pushed into my Teams chat me message so that I don't have to manually type that in. Now, there's a couple of things that you have to think about, right? So the resolution try so far is obviously, right? Any steps that have been taken by the agent in order to resolve this issue. So this is kind of what you see below here. And then you have the issue description, and that's really just describing the problem that we're dealing with, the problem that we're trying to resolve. Now, you got to understand that AI will actually need at least three messages here in chat. So you can see here, I have one, two, and three. So that's the minimum before it can generate that message, right? That, that note, if you will. So that's kind of how that works. And then, like I said, and if I'm ready, I can just click here on start chat and that now pulls up. Here we go. That chat. And you can see here it automatically entered that note in here. So I don't have to manually do that. So you can, I'm sure you can understand like how much time uh, that will save, right? Cause I don't have to first type that up myself when I'm reaching out to Teresa. All right, so how does that, how do we turn this on, right? So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to a different app and instead of Omnichannel for customer service, you're actually gonna go, I'm gonna get rid of this. You're gonna go here to the customer service admin app. I'm gonna leave this chat. And then we're going to go here to collaboration. Now, obviously you need to have that team integration turned on, right? So I'm just going to click here on manage. And then you'll notice that, right? All of those 
integrations here, I have those turned on. But in order to turn on what you just saw, that functionality, all you have to do is just find this conversation record, right? That's the table. And you're going to click on edit. And then this is what I'm talking about, right? You need to turn this on in order to generate those AI generated introduction notes to your teammates on Teams. Now, the other thing that you can turn on in here as well, you can kind of see that, right? Anyone with write or append access to a record can join this connected chat because again, this is only for connected chats, right? But the reason why you might want to turn this on is that if, for example, that chat that I was having with that customer is being sent to somebody else, you probably want them to access that chat, that new connected chat, right? That I just sent to Teresa so that she can see or the, whoever, right, uh, gets that customer chat that they can see what was said in Teams. So that's kind of why you want to turn that on. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.